Welcome back to the second tutorial on auto encoding. So in this tutorial we're going to start off by showing you how to use the code of form designer to make a hello world script. Just like almost just like another one except we're going to be using hold on, code on. So first off you can just drag this to whatever size you want. So I usually move that after I make the actual thing. So I'm just gonna make the label and you just go to caption and type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Hello World. Then you can hit the font thing, hit this little triple button here, and I'm just gonna make it fuchsia and size looks like a good size. Mm, that should be good. And then I'm gonna, I guess I'll put another label under it. And I'm just gonna make this. Are you smart? And I'm just gonna increase the size on this one to 12. Never mind, I'm gonna make it tw 10. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a button. I won't change anything on this button, but I'll change the name, of course. So, nope, not name, caption. If you change the name, then, well, it doesn't, not a big deal if you change the name, but it will run into some problems. And then we're gonna create another button saying no. Okay, so now it's the same size. Rename this one to no. And that looks about good. So I'll show you more later, but so then you're just gonna go to tools, generate form code, you can just copy and paste and put it in. Since I use a different thing than it shows here, I don't use the case way. So I'm just gonna copy this. See I, I didn't take the casing that it puts in the bottom because I have another thing. Here I'll sh I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go into my locker spot. Everything's gonna be blurred out except the part that you need. And then here we go. So I'm just going to copy this right in so then I don't have to blur out the whole thing. Oh, cancel. Close. Now this is the one you want to use. You want to put in while one. Then you want to put in message in uh, the variable message equals GUI get message. Then you're going to put in if message equals minus three then exit. Then you're going to put in if message, this is a variable at the beginning again always the same one so if that equals button one because you've got button one up here this one I'm going to change to button two and this one I'm going to change to button two as well so th this is the, what the function name is going to be this whole thing right there and then this is your thing up here, your button up here. So basically if the first button, which is the yes button, is clicked, then it'll do the function that we have down here. So let's make that func <laughs> func. Okay, and you put in your button one up uh, two brackets. Closing ones and everything. And we're just gonna put end function there. And now you just type in what your function is going to be. So I'm going to want mine to be. Um, I'll just put message box for this one. Message box zero. Title hi. Text hey dude. OK. 
Okay, you guys already know how to do that. Just gonna copy and paste the exact same thing except for change to button two. And for the message I'm gonna say bye. And I'm just gonna say bye dude. Okay, now let's test this out. Okay, hello world. Are you smart? Uh yes. Hey dude. Are you smart? No. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Next part I'll show you how to do write to files. Write to uh dot n i i n i file. Thanks for watching.